Okay, so great news, Twister OS is back, and this time it's on Raspberry Pi 5. I've installed it to the NVMe drive in here, and it seems to be working pretty well so far. As you can see, I've already switched it to the XP theme, and changing the theme is the same as it was before, you can see here. So we just hit next, and then pick a theme. So if we want, say for instance, the Twister theme, but dark, click on that, and it'll automatically switch. Hit enter to continue. Sign back in again. And we have a different sound and we have a different theme. Now I made some changes to the old version of Twister OS to get it running on the Raspberry Pi 5, but loads of things didn't work. But everything I've tried so far seems to work fine. So I've got in this Windows folder an EXE file. This is Elastomania, an old Windows game. And if I launch Wine Desktop, and hit start and go to control panel and add remove programs. I can then navigate to the desktop. So we hit install and we'll go back. So home, pi, desktop. You can see I've got the Windows folder here. It's not showing up at the moment, but if I change this to exe files, you can see it shows up. Let's double click on that and it starts to install just like a Windows program. So let's hit next and next and just install that. So none of this worked in the previous version on a Raspberry Pi 5 because it wasn't optimized for it, but this looks to be. I haven't heard anything apart from Tom Termchenbauer sent me an email today. And also I noticed there were some changes on the Twister OS site. Right, where is that then? That should be installed now. So we hit start. And programs, Elastomania is there. And it's launched. Not sure what's happening with the window, but it has launched and I'll take that. Actually, I did have this happen uh, with Windows. I've got another version of Elastomania which doesn't do this. But just to show that it's working and you can hear the sound is working. So we have Windows games, super easy to install with Wine Desktop. Really happy with that. Now, if I close that down and we go to the browser, so it takes you to twisterOS.com. And if we go to downloads, you can see Raspberry Pi 4 and 5 this version, Twister OS version 3.0.2. Now, the browser is definitely pretty slow at this moment. But I didn't download it for the browser, I definitely downloaded it for the integration of Wine and being able to get old Windows programs working. The browser just seems to get a bit stuck. Okay, so that definitely needs a bit of work. So all of the Wine bits here, look, Wine Tricks, Wine Task Manager, Wine Program Manager, Wine Killer, Wine Desktop and Wine Configuration. Oh, and Wine shows up at the bottom here with the programs and Lastomania, so you can launch it from that as well. So I've got PaintShop Pro here as well. So let's copy that. And let's extract it here. Yeah, and that's the EXE. Let's pop that in there. Is that done? Yeah, that's done. So let's open Wine again. And we'll see if we can install PaintShop Pro. So add programs and install on my desktop exe file or all, all files will do the same thing and let's double click on that and as you can see PaintShop Pro is starting to install although it looked like that might have crashed. Oh no it's still working. So next I accept and next and we'll do a complete installation, why not? Well that seemed to happen quick. So if I cancel this bit, and does it show up in here? Yeah. PaintShop Pro. Amazing. That's so good. Yeah, really, really happy with that. 
Let's just do one more theme switch. And next, and we'll go for Twister 7 or 90. No, let's go with 95. And enter. So the username, which is the super old way of doing it, which was Pi and then Raspberry, which isn't particularly safe because for years many Pis were just left on that as default. Oh, we've got, not everything has changed at the moment. It hasn't changed the wallpaper at this stage. Okay, so it needs a bit of work, but uh, I'm just really happy to see it back up and running again and happy to see that wine integration. I'm sure a, re I'm sure a restart will probably sort that out. I like the WinZip icon here on the PaintShop Pro. So if you were intrigued about my case, I've just put four magnets on. So I bought a load of magnets off TikTok and uh, I just screwed the screws in and then that sticks in place. So these are very, very strong magnets. And I was inspired by this mini PC, which will be in an up and coming video. Uh, so this has got magnets to be able to take off the side casing, which is really cool. And uh, it allows you to change the RAM and also change the storage on it as well. But there'll be a longer video about this mini PC coming soon. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.